Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Hattie Homemaking, where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another charity shop haul. So I like doing these every so often just to show what I've picked up from charity shops over the past couple of months. So this is a combination of two trips. One was on my honeymoon in Cornwall, where I actually only got one thing and the rest is all from one trip where I got really, really lucky. So it just goes to show sometimes you can end up with not much or nothing at all and then other times you can hit the jackpot and find loads that you like so i'm gonna get straight on in to showing you what i got today it's all fashion it's all clothes so sometimes i mix it up and get books and homeware and things like that but most of the time when I was charity shop shopping, <laughs> this time it was mostly clothes I found. So that is what I'm gonna be showing you today. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is this lovely purple um, knitwear top. I just love the color. It's a really nice light lilac color. It's such a soft fabric and it was orish originally from somewhere called Classic. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> Maybe it's like a classic range within um, a known brand. But the quality of this, I think it's brand new. I personally think this is one of those items, you know, where they say that certain brands donate um, things that haven't sold. I just can't see that this has been worn or washed at all. It's literally in pristine condition. It's so soft. And I just thought jumpers like this are a staple for winter. I personally love thinner jumpers that keep you really warm so I like to lay it in the winter I like to usually wear a dress and tights and then a jumper over the top so this type of thing is perfect for that so I absolutely love this and it was only £3.50 as well which was an absolute bargain so along similar lines I got this blue knitwear top I just feel like that colour is just so striking and as you can see I do like wearing blue I feel like people with blue eyes if you wear blue it just really does draw them out and just I don't know I just love vibrant colours like this I feel like especially in the winter or the colder months where it's a little bit greyer and dark wearing something bright is just such an easy way to make you feel more vibrant and awake and happy so I personally love to try to stay away from the darker blacks and things like that and mix it up with some bright colours so again this was £3.50 and again it's in pristine condition super soft super lightweight and there's just no pulls or stains on it at all I don't know if I already said what it was £3.50 <laughs> I feel like my brain is just not quite there I probably just said that twice the next thing I got after just going on a spiel about how I try and stay away from black, but it's this little cropped black cardigan with a little, um, what are they called? Glitter? Um, sequins. <laughs> little sequins on. Um, so I like anything cropped. Again, I like to wear dresses and tights and I feel like cropped jumpers or cropped cardigans look the best. So if I buy a jumper or a cardigan that's longer than that, I will usually tie it in the waist to bring attention to the waist. Otherwise you end up with like a sort of a block look if you wear a long dress and then a long cardigan or jumper it just completely gets rid of your waist so you end up very square so the way I like to counteract that while still wearing dresses is by getting cro cropped things so again pristine condition you wouldn't know it's from a charity shop at all lovely soft material sometimes I feel like these cardigans they can get a little bit itchy but this is really really soft it's not itchy in the slightest and I feel like this is just going to be a staple that I wear and wear and wear all the time and this was four pounds so the next thing I found was actually a coat I got lucky with this so it's a cream coat and it's got these really unique really nice buttons that you sort of um clip together I don't know if you can see that maybe need to hold it up closer yeah so they're sort of like buckle um designs and it's really it's sort of like a lightweight suede um, it's got nice detail on the back as well and it's just a really classy staple coat to have for winter and it's originally from Jane Norman this was actually only six pounds so I definitely could not leave this despite having loads of coats already and again in winter and autumn I feel like cream coats really just elevate any outfit because they just make you look more bright and I feel like wearing bright colours as well in autumn and winter does make you appear more confident as well I also like longer line um coats <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is it taking me so long to find words today? But I like longer line coats for wearing dresses as well because it just looks better if the line of the coat sort of fits around where the dress ends. So I was really, really happy with that. And for six pounds, you can't go wrong. So along the cropped lines again, I found this cropped pink jumper that was originally from Topshop. Again, in really, really good condition. I feel like I got lucky this time with finding knitwear that's in good condition. I feel like that's usually the hardest challenge with charity shops is finding knitwear that isn't like pulled or just looking really old and tatty. So I feel like I got really lucky this time around. So again, this is just gonna be a staple, just an extra layer to wear over the top of a dress or with a skirt or something like that. I just feel like it will just fit into my wardrobe so well and this was £4.50. The next thing I found was this burgundy high neck um, knitwear with long sleeves. Again, just a staple for autumn winter. I feel like burgundy is great for this time of year. I feel like this would look lovely with a skirt and tights. I feel like things like this also look really nice with black or white plain dresses over the top as well. And it just provides that extra layer of warmth without it being really, really bulky. It's also got really nice details on the sleeves as well, sort of like a um, lacy, um, jagged, <laughs> sort of style and yeah it's just really soft really good condition and this was I don't think it's still got the price on it I think it was £3.50 as well or it was around that region next I got this gorgeous cream top that I've also already been wearing loads and loads oh this is also from that classic um range and this is in pristine condition as well so it must be from the same brand that gifted the other one so it's just this cream jumper super lightweight short sleeve with this lovely detail at the top um, with nice gems and things I feel like again this is just a staple for autumn and winter you can wear it with pants you can wear it over the top of dresses and it's that really lovely lightweight material that keeps you warm doesn't add loads of bulk and I can definitely confirm this was £3.50 so this is the dress I actually found in Cornwall on my honeymoon so it's like a denim long dress um, with short sleeves and it's so comfortable every time I have found a denim dress or tried out a denim dress they've been really rigid and just hard to move in and just not comfortable at all and you get really hot whereas this I feel like has the perfect balance the denim is actually quite soft so it fits around my body really well and it's really you can really move around in it this also looks really nice with a high neck lightweight jumper underneath as well it looks really really wintry and just perfect so I love wearing this with tights over the knee boots and a scarf I just feel like that looks so classic and stylish and I feel like that sort of outfit will never go out of fashion so I bought this for £9.50 so the next thing I bought which I'm actually sending back because they are too small for me and then I've ended up buying some more which I'm wearing today anyway um these are black wide leg pants so I've wanted some of these for a while just I'm trying to stay away from jeans I feel like jeans are just so standard and I feel like when I put them on I just I don't know I just don't feel put together and I know they're convenient and I know I probably will wear them for a lot of things like just doing errands and I don't know pottering around the house but for my general style I just want to avoid wearing jeans but that kind of rules out a lot of tops that you can wear with outfits so I wanted to find some plain black wide length wide leg pants that I can wear with a lot of the different tops I have in my wardrobe so that they don't just all sit there and don't get worn since I'm not wearing my jeans. So I found these pants, they were only three pound um, and they are just um, two buttons, a zip and just pretty, I don't really know what else to say to them. They're just wide leg pants originally from River Island, which is probably why they're too small because River Island does tend to come up small. Um, but I have black pants on today. Let's see if I can show you. Now if you stop growling, these are from m and I don't know if you can see properly, um, but they are lovely. They are sort of an elasticated waist and they just go wide at the bottom and they were £25 and I can just tell you now I'm going to get so much wear out of them. So that is a little... <laughs> little detour to something I did buy brand new. So next sticking along the pant theme I found these sort of cream um creamy beige um sort of linen-y 
They're sort of a cross between linen and denim. They're much more lightweight than denim. And they are, I think they're three quarter length, but on me they're a little bit lower because I'm quite short. And they were from originally Debenhams and they've got this lovely print on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. But I thought these would just look really nice with a t-shirt on a casual day, just pottering around the house. Again, trying to avoid the standard blue jean thing <laughs> so i thought they would be really nice for that but again they're just slightly too small for me i was gutted these were only three pound as well but i am going to keep an eye out for something very very similar in my size next i got this cardigan that was from mns so it's in the shop it looked a lot more pink but now that it's home it's a little bit more beigey i'm unsure about this i love it and i bought it because it's got this lovely pearl um details and it's really lightweight and in really great condition ah oh, it's from that classic place again oh how strange so this classic range must have donated a lot because again this is in perfect condition this was four pound 29 a very specific number that <laughs> normally it's like four pound or four pound fifty it was four pound 29 i've kept the tag on for now i'm just not sure about the color and i'm not sure if it's like a little bit too old for me i'm not sure if it's something you would see in someone like a little bit older's wardrobe i can't decide but then i feel like you could style it so that it didn't look too old i don't know i feel like i need to take this and try it with a couple of different outfits in my wardrobe and see what i think the next thing I got is this gorgeous velvet pink skirt. So one of my style inspirations is Holly Willoughby on This Morning and she wears a lot of um, high neck tops like this with skirts in the winter time. So I always try and keep an eye out for high neck tops as you've seen and skirts. So I just thought this was perfect. Definitely something I could imagine Holly wearing in the winter. So this was eight pound. It was originally from the brand Jacqueline de Young. I'd never heard of that before. And oh, it's got the original tag on as well. So it was originally £20 and I got it for £4. So this was in a size extra small. So it fits just, but it's a little bit tight on my waist, which makes it quite difficult to tuck things into it i don't think unfortunately i'm going to be losing any weight to fit into it not that it's unfortunate that i'm not losing weight and i need to i'm not saying that i'm saying it's unfortunate that i won't ever fit into this skirt <laughs> so unfortunately i am gonna have to send this skirt back i'm absolutely gutted because i love it but it just to get, goes to show the amazing things you can find in charity shops which is just another one of my endorsements for charity shops and then the final thing i got is this black knitwear um dress from monsoon and it's got this lovely sequined pattern up at the top so this was in a size 14 so it fits me perfectly i bought it for nine pound the only thing is is it's really really itchy like to the point where i don't know if i can cope with it so i think again this one is gonna have to go back but i absolutely love it and it fits so so lovely as well it's I don't like clothes that are super tight to my body because I feel like I have to walk around sucking in the whole time but then I don't like clothes that are really really baggy either I know I'm super picky <laughs> because if it's really baggy then you just lose your shape but if it's too tight you feel like just conscious and put on show and I do try and dress a little bit more modestly than I used to in my younger days so I feel like this dress would have been so perfect and amazing for Christmas and keep you nice and toasty i just imagine this almost with that cream coat i got and then some nice like maybe cream boots and oh it would have been really nice but i just don't know if i can cope with the itching does anyone else have that problem like loving a piece of clothing but if it isn't comfortable and makes you itch I just can't like fathom wearing it for more than five seconds so that is everything i bought in charity shops recently i really hope you have enjoyed this haul please give this a thumbs up if you have let me know if you've been to charity shops recently and what you've bought i'm always so interested to know what other people find in charity shops i'm actually on reddit and there is um, a group i follow on it i don't really know how reddit works does anyone else get really confused by it but i went on it and i 
found this, I think it's more American, but it's like thrift finds and people share what they find and some of the stuff is amazing. And every time I look on that, it always gives me the motivation to go and have a look around the charity shops. So I hope this has been your inspiration to go and have a little look. And it just goes to show as well how much amazing stuff you can get for autumn and winter. I know a lot of times we might discount them thinking all oh, the knitwear will be old and pulled and things like that. But it just goes to show sometimes you can get lucky and that's not the case at all. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.